In the 1920s, Edwin Hubble realized our universe is expanding. Every galaxy is moving away from every other galaxy. So a Big Bang, a colossal primordial explosion, made sense. It set space and time and the expansion of the universe all into motion. In 1964, when scientists first discovered the cosmic microwave background, they called it the echo of the Big Bang. The Big Bang theory seemed to be on solid ground. And since then, based on the Big Bang theory, scientists have spent 60 years developing what's called the Standard Model of Cosmology. The theory gives an age for the universe, 13.8 billion years, and it explains the cosmic microwave background, the expansion of the universe, the large-scale distribution of the galaxies, and much more. But as time passed, some observations didn't fit the model. Two unseen components, dark matter and dark energy, neither of which we've directly observed, were needed to help explain how the model worked. And still, discrepancies remained. Now, NASA's new Webb Space Telescope has cast even more doubt on some aspects of the standard model. For example, Webb has made what scientists are calling impossible early galaxy observations. Webb seems to see fully formed galaxies only 500 to 800 million years after the Big Bang. According to the standard model, that can't happen. And it's not a minor discrepancy, it's a big one. So do we need a new model of the universe? A new cosmology? Some scientists are beginning to think, maybe we do. Visit the link in the description at this video for more. We are Kelly Kaiser Witt and Deborah Bird for Earth Sky. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.